Man, all praise be to God. I don't need the glory still. They just biting my dear. Tyson versus Holy Phil. Put that on the squad. I'm about to go to overkill. Put it three up in the hashtag so I know it's real. Praise be to God. So this episode is going to be a little different from the first episode. Uh, the first episode, you were able to capture a glimpse of the adventure that me and Kevin have had so far. You know, meeting up, going to the Liquid Lounge, meeting up with a lot of great artists, and, and enjoying the vibes, and you know, really taking in Atlanta. But for this episode, I kind of want to reflect on some of the amazing things that God was able to do in these next couple of days. And today, we're heading out to my friend Amy's church, which is called the Greater Church. And uh, I was a little nervous because I'm very introverted at times. I don't like to be around new people. But to be around the people of God and to enjoy them is something like none other. So we were able to help them out, set up the chairs, rows and making sure everything was set up and ready to go because this was their first service and um, it was an honor to even you know step back out of the saga and even be a servant on another level and just put myself aside in order to help out others it was it was truly a blessing I, I had so much fun and it was just great to be around so many people who love God Couple of people. Um, how many of you guys are in here and you um, you actually put gas in your car before the light comes on? How many of you guys in here? You put gas? I can't stand it up. Y'all are amazing. <laughs> how many of you guys, you actually put gas when the light comes on? As soon as the little check in, the little light comes on. It's a couple of y'all. You guys are amazing. It's a special group of people here that are a little bit different than everybody else. So after such an amazing service, Kevin and I decided to head back with them to their party, celebrating their first service ever. We had so many amazing people from the church service. And just to see how humble everybody was, me and Kevin had a great time, joking around, dancing, having fun. <laughs> and uh, it was just amazing to see how much hard work goes into it and how appreciative everybody was to celebrate that moment together. Like, being in this very room, and it was just seven of us. Yep. Coming here and having team meetings, and it's just a handful of us, and we're trying to learn how we're going to do this thing. Coming here and having an interest social. And then all of a sudden, to sit there and do an altar call and just ask people to respond to the gospel yeah. simply. Yeah. And the moment that we did that, man, to see people's hands shoot up, like, man, I'm ready to do this thing. I'm ready to do this. And then, and then to go outside and have conversations with these people for them to tell you, man, you don't understand what today meant. I got a flyer, I saw you on Facebook. I had no idea that this, I've been looking for something in my life. And for them to actually walk into the church doors, for you guys to love on Everything that you created, pipe and drape, sound, all of the lighting, everything that we put together for, those, for them to walk in there in an atmosphere where a bunch of people are expecting, are full of faith, anything can happen. Yeah. 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 So today, Amy decides she wants to kill us yep. and take us to where? Stone Mountain, right? Stone Mountain. Stone freaking mountain. Stone Mountain. It's a hike? It's a hike. It's about an hour hike. Oh, it's an hour hike! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Roughly. Roughly? Oh, yeah. Have you ever walked for an hour? I played basketball for an hour. Nice. So, if I think of it like that, then hopefully we'll make it through the day. That's what I'm saying. We're going to make it. Why am I going to this guy? 
So leading up to this moment, the only thing that stood in my mind was fear. Because I've never, ever hiked a day in my life. Right? This is new to me. My first time in Atlanta, my first time catching the vibes and the culture out here. And I'm doing one of the hardest things I've had to do. And it's for more than one reason. Not because I'm scared to walk, but there's so many things leading up to this moment that instilled fear in me. And at this point in time, I told myself, either go hard or go home. And I'm thousands of miles away from home. So I said, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's take on new territory. And let's just explore things that we've never been able to explore before. Which leads us to Stone Mountain. This is gonna, this is gonna be very sweaty. I don't think I've ever sweat like this before. All oh, thanks for this girl right here. <laughs> Not ever. Am I like, oh my god. If y'all know where I came from, then you know this is a big accomplishment. But we halfway there, right? Once we leave here, then we go up this part here, go up the part I told you with the with the pole, and you hold on to the railing, and go straight up. Right there. It's still challenging. You okay. How you feel? I feel good. I feel like going back. <laughs> so for those of y'all who don't know my story, here's like a little brief summary. When I was in my mother's womb. The doctor told my mom that uh, I'd be paralyzed from the neck down. There's no point in having me. I mean, you should just uh, abort the child. And uh, my mother didn't declare that over her life. She had praying parents who, who prayed over me. I was able to make it uh, in full health. But as I grew older, I had surgery on my ankles, my feet, my hips. and. God was basically telling me that through it all, you'll be fine. But the doctors used to tell me that I'd be paralyzed. The doctor told me that it'd take me a while to walk, let alone run or let alone play any sports or let alone do anything like that. And look where God is taking me. <laughs> 26 years later in my life and I'm literally Walking up Stone Mountain, nothing's impossible for God. Nothing's impossible. The warrior, Amy is. She's gonna try to, everybody else is walking. Let's see, let's see what God does in her. Oh, she's running. Oh, she's running. Oh, man. That's a Wheaties commercial right there. <laughs> Amy deserves her own box of Wheaties. 
breakfast for champions. You ready for this? Let's do it, man. I'm gonna make it. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally made it to the top. I try not to, you know, I try not to think about my tiredness, even though I knew I was tired. Like, I was very aware that I was done. <laughs> made it all the way to the top, y'all. We made it. I try not to, I try not to think it too. And I'd be lying if I said it was easy. It was, yeah, oh my God, yo. <laughs> I was literally on the verge of tears. She's no rookie. Because I've been on this, I've been on this journey before. So when you're familiar with the journey, you can help people get it. In moments like this, this is what made everything worth it. To sit back and admire the detail in God's hand, the beautiful view, thinking about all of the pain and my body telling me not to continue and wanting to give up so many times. I finally did it. And on our way back down, it started to rain a lot, but I wasn't even worried about that. At this point, I was in awe to look at God's beauty in everything from the way up and even on the way down. And it made me realize there's things in our lives that we face and they're like mountains. All you need is the right people around you to encourage you and keep you on track. And that's what Kevin and Amy did. And at the end of it, the process was worth it. So no matter what mountain we're facing, get through it. Because that view at the end is greater than the process getting up there.